Hey guys, it's Dan from our student site here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a piano keyboard app using MIT App Inventor 2. This is actually the sixth tutorial in my series. You don't really need to watch any of the previous ones except maybe episode f um, tutorial number five, but I think you could probably do the basic piano app without any of that. Um, but I will leave a link to the previous video and the app dev tutorial playlist in the description. So, to start off, we're going to name our project piano underscore keyboard. Now, you should know how to do this from watching my previous tutorials, but if you don't, when you open it up, you will um, basically be in just a blank section something not quite like this but then you can basically go up to projects here and click start new project and then type in your project name and do what I just did <sighs> if you didn't understand that then you can go back to my first tutorial and watch that to learn how to make a project next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab eight buttons we're going to drag them onto the interface here just clicking and dragging and then we are not going oh, sorry we're going to uh, remove all the text so we're just gonna uh, click from button to button and there we go now all my text has been removed from my buttons next thing we're going to do is we're going to upload an image to every single one of these buttons so you click on the first button button one then you would go to image upload file and now you can I'm gonna choose a file from my disk drive here um, there we go. Piano. Now you can find all these images just on the internet. They're really easy to find. Just search up piano key images, stuff like that. Piano key sprites, and you can find these images, download them, and use them. So I'm just going to go through, and then there's my first image. On to number two, and then image, upload file, choose file piano to jpeg choose okay and continue through that cycle okay so now that I'm done uploading all my um, images to my buttons I can now drag eight sounds like so now I have eight sounds now we can go through and rename these C mid and you cannot use a period C mid and then rename D mid and continue through them until you're done and here we go last but not least C one mid. So now that I'm done naming these all so I know what these are, now I can actually upload a source to them. Sorry. Upload file. Oh, I just hit okay. Sorry, not upload file. There we go. Source C mid. Source D mid. Okay. Source E mid. And continue on. Now that I've got all those noise sounds uploaded, I can go to blocks. And what we're going to do in blocks here is I can delete that. Um, we can first click on button one, then drag over one button, one click. Call C mid to play. It's as easy as that. Now you're just going to duplicate this eight times. Easy, just uh, left left click on the mouse and then the option comes up to duplicate that should be seven times or that should be seven or eight times spread this out and then technically you could do it all separately but this is the easiest way to do it and I just drag them into an order like so for organization now that we're nice and organized we can just really change this so we start with button one when button two is clicked we want it to play the D mid when button 
three is clicked, we want to play the E mid when button four is clicked. We want to play the F mid when button five is clicked. We want to play the G mid when button six is clicked. We want to play the A mid when button seven is clicked. We want to play the B mid and when button Eight is clicked. We want to play the C1 mid. Guys, that's how you make a simple piano app. So, to test that it works, we're then going to hit connect. Oh, cancel. We're going to go up to connect here, and then you got to get your Android phone out. If you haven't done this already, you're going to have to download the MIT AI2 companion app. So, if you don't have the app, you're going to have to get it now. If you do, then get it out and get your phone and all you do is click AI companion here and then you'll be given a barcode that you can scan and connect with so right here guys is how you make a simple piano app if you have any issues let me know but this should work absolutely fine for you and it's great easy to use thanks for watching guys hope you found this tutorial useful and I'll see you in the next one bye